vertical subtraction. Hello children, how are you all? We are fine teacher. Okay children, today I will tell you about subtraction of three digit numbers. In class 2, we have learned the subtraction of two digit numbers. We apply the same method for the subtraction of three digit numbers. Let us subtract 215 from 468. Write the numbers in columns. Write the greater number above the smaller number. Subtract ones from ones. Eight ones minus five ones is equal to three ones. Write three under the ones column. Subtract tens from tens. Six tens minus one ten is equal to five tens. Write five under tens column. Subtract the hundreds. Four hundreds minus two hundreds. Write two under the hundreds column. So we get 468 minus 215 is equal to 253. Children, this was an example of subtraction without regrouping. Now let us see how we regroup tens to ones in a three digit subtraction. Let us find 693 minus 427. Subtract the ones. 3 is less than 7. So regroup 9 tens, 3 ones as 8 tens and 13 ones. So 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. Write 6 under ones column. Subtract the tens. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 tens. Write 6 under the tens column. Subtract the hundreds. 6 minus 4 is equal to two hundreds. Write 2 under hundreds column. So we get 693 minus 427 is equal to 266. Now let us take an example and see how we regroup hundreds to tens. Let us find 537 minus 362. Write the numbers in columns and subtract ones from ones. 7 ones minus 2 ones is equal to 5 ones. Regroup 5 hundreds, 3 tens as 4 hundreds, 13 tens and subtract tens from tens. So 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. Subtract hundreds from hundreds. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So we find 537 minus 362 is equal to 175. Children, so far you have seen examples of regrouping tens to ones and hundreds to tens. Now we take an example in which we have to regroup both tens to ones and hundreds to tens. Let us find 451 minus 163. Subtract the ones. Since there are not enough ones, you will have to regroup. 5 tens, 1 one is equal to 4 tens, 11 ones. Now, 11 ones minus 3 ones is equal to 8 ones. Subtract the tens. Since there are not enough tens, you will have to regroup. 4 hundreds, 4 tens is equal to 3 hundreds, 14 tens. 14 tens minus 6 tens is equal to 8 tens. Subtract the hundreds. Three hundreds minus one hundred is equal to two hundreds. So we get four fifty one 
minus 163 is equal to 288. Children, you can now apply the same method for the subtraction of four-digit numbers. First, let us take an example of without regrouping. Neha, you come and subtract on the blackboard 8,795 minus 7,532. Okay, teacher. 5 ones minus 2 ones equal to 3 ones. 9 tens minus 3 tens equal to 6 tens. 7 hundreds minus 5 hundreds equal to 2 hundreds. 8 thousands minus 7 thousands equal to 1 thousand. So, we get 8,795 minus 7,532 equal to 1,263. Very good, Neha. Now let us take an example in which you will see how we regroup thousands to hundreds. Let us find 6753 minus 4968. Subtracting the ones. Here 8 is greater than 3. So from tens column, we borrow 110, leaving behind 4 tens. Now 110 plus 3 ones, which is equal to 10 ones plus 3 ones is equal to 13 ones. So 13 ones minus 8 ones is equal to 5 ones. Subtracting the tens. Here 6 is greater than 4. So from hundreds column, we borrow 100, leaving behind 6 hundreds. Now 100 plus 4 tens is equal to 10 tens plus 4 tens which is equal to 14 tens. 14 tens minus 6 tens is equal to 8 tens. Subtracting the hundreds now. Here 9 is greater than 6. So from thousands column, we borrow 1000 leaving behind 5 thousands. Now 1000 plus 6 hundreds is equal to Ten hundreds plus six hundreds, which is equal to sixteen hundred. So sixteen hundreds minus nine hundreds is equal to seven hundreds. Subtracting the thousands. Five thousands minus four thousands is equal to one thousand. So we get six seven five three minus four nine six eight is equal to 1785. Children, you also know how to subtract with zeros. Let us find 4000 minus 2836. You can do this by regrouping directly and then subtract in following order. 10 ones minus 6 ones is equal to Four ones. Nine tens minus three tens is equal to six tens. Nine hundreds minus eight hundreds is equal to one hundred. Three thousands minus two thousands is equal to one thousand. Children, you know we can check whether subtraction is correct or not. For this, if we add the answer to the smaller number, the greater number should be obtained. If we do not get the greater number, then the answer is incorrect. Let us now check if the above subtraction is correct or not. 
children now i will tell you some properties of subtraction these properties can help you to subtract quickly and correctly always remember these properties of subtraction when one is subtracted from a number the difference is the predecessor of the given number when zero is subtracted from a number the difference is the number itself when a number is subtracted from itself the difference obtained is